All right, guys, we are live. We are back here on a Sunday. It's amazing. I feel amazing. I feel great. I feel wonderful. Okay. Yeah. Yes, we are. We are live again, guys. I'm so grateful to be here. Uh, my name is Ariel. ArielENT.com is the website. Thank you guys so much for listening so far. We're getting listeners, and I'm so happy. I'm so happy, guys. That now you know I'm just having so much fun doing this. And today we're gonna have an amazing topic. But before we get to the topic, we are gonna get straight to the business. We're gonna do this real quick. ArielENT.com is my website. Go to ArielENTPOD on Instagram. ArielENT on the TikTok. And we're just having so much fun doing music, photography, and now podcasting. Yeah. Okay. So other than that, we're gonna get a, we're gonna get into the topic because it's gonna be I got a lot of information. Uh, we're gonna have the song of the day, and then we're gonna oh yeah, I got stickers, pens, and shirts. Okay, as merchandise. I'm very grateful if you guys go to arielent.com, support the show. I put it straight back into the business, and it lets me have great equipment like this uh, podcasting gear, this awesome white candle that we just got. Yeah, shout out to the homeboy, Tom. Tom, the donation you gave to uh, Ariel ENT, P-O-D. That's the business right there, guys. We got the candle. We got the we got the globe here. We're so happy here. Yesterday, I went hiking, got some fresh air, did sun gazing, did a five-mile hike, saw some animals. Rocky Mountain National Park, baby. Yeah, shout out to Rocky Mountain National Park. Guys, like I said, I have merchandise. I got it all right here. I got it live. So we got the white t-shirt. Yeah, we got the white t-shirt. People have been loving the white t-shirt. We got to have the white tee. You know, got the white tee with the logo. We call this the classic white tee. <laughs> we got stickers. Yo, check it out. We got stickers with the logo, classic logo. What, up? what can you go wrong with that? Put it on your car. Don't put your kids on a rail sticker. Put this instead. This will be much better on the car straight up. And we got pens right here, pens. Go to arielent.com or see me in person. DM me on Instagram. Got you. I got you. I usually I've been doing uh, t-shirts online. And then uh, I put a sticker and pen in there for free. Okay. We got the stickers and pens. And then we got the we got the red t-shirt tee. Yo, shout out Strange Human Creations. I think that's what it is. Not sure. The homeboy hooked it up. Came through. He's like, yo, I'll hook you up with some tees. Come through. And I did. Gave him the logo. He gave me the red tees. These have been going hot. These have been going hot, baby. Yo, people have been buying these. I'm almost out. Um, I've had them in all sizes, but I know that extra, extra large is out. With the smalls, out. I think we just got, I think this is the medium. Yeah, medium right here, baby. Yo, mediums. And I don't know what else. But I know that we got two of those sold out already, and I can't believe it. Shout out to everybody. Okay, I just want to say thank you so much for listening. Uh, I'm going to say a prayer here, and then we'll get to a song, and then we'll get straight to the topic. Yeah! Yo! Okay, okay. today is February 23rd. Can, I think there's a 29th in this month, I think. That's what I heard. So we're recording live on the video, recording on the on the mixer, and then we're recording on the, on the computer. And I was like, oh, I can't wait to get back on this and record on all three. Yo, I forgot to push record on the computer. But I said, fuck it. Let's just do it. I don't care. And then we'll edit with the video in the mixer. But usually on the mixer, I don't even edit. I just throw it up. The computer was to, uh, like I said, learning as I go. This is my fifth episode, I think, or episode four. I'm not sure. I just get ahead of myself. I'm so happy to be doing this. Okay, get to, straight to the point. I get to ranting. Okay, so I got the mixer, and I don't edit. Um, the video, I do edit. Uh, but uh, I was going to use the computer to edit the mixer, but I forgot to turn on the computer. Because I know I say a little, I know sometimes on, like lately, the last four shows that I've been doing, I was like, okay, I got a program now where I can edit and take out the extra, you know, like pauses and shit. But you know what? I forgot to do it on the computer again this time. So next time we'll be able to do that. We're always progressing, always learning, learning as I go. Like right now, you guys, I'm not going to start over. I'm like, fuck it. I'm already seven minutes deep into this shit. I ain't starting over. Okay. We're going to say a prayer and then get to the song. Guys, I just want to say... God, thank you so much for everybody listening. God, thank you for the amazing podcasting stuff we have here in this right now. 
Thank you, God, for our amazing health. Thank you, guys, for protecting us wherever you are. Thank you, God, for watching over us and everybody for listening to the podcast and telling their friends and family. Thank you, God. Thank you, God, for um, forgiving our sins. And thank you, God, for the amazing blessings you've given to our lives. Thank you, God. I just say thank you, guys, so much. Look at the sun and tell God that you love him so much. Go outside, look at the sun, sun gazing. Do it between when the sun, sunrise and sunset. I believe that uh, sunrise is the best, guys. So check out what time the best is. Look into it. Sun gazing. Thank you, God. That's what I'm shout out. And that everybody is safe wherever they are. And if they're driving, listening, home, you get safe wherever you are. Take your time driving. Look out for the fellow drivers. Okay, guys. ArielENT.com is the website. Yeah. And that's the, uh, thank you, God, for answering our prayers. Okay. Topic of the day, guys. Get into it. We are going to talk about drones. Drones in northeastern Colorado. Don't get scared. We're going to be getting into it here soon. Okay? I got a song for you guys, though. I uh, hope you enjoy it. This is shit I used to roll down Lewis Street with. Thank you guys so much for listening. AerialENT.com is where you can catch all the podcasting. Uh, that's where I've been throwing it up. We're not relying on YouTube because they've been getting rid of a lot of stuff on YouTube. Okay, um, we're going to get straight to the topic. we got a lot to talk about in a short time. Uh, AerialENT.com is the website. Okay, guys, we're going to talk about drones in northeastern Colorado. That's why I played that country song because when I grew up, I grew up on country. And um, that's like the first music I got into. So, and what more than Northeastern Colorado than country music, baby. That's what I love. And now, well, you know, um, that was from Tracy Lawrence. And uh, that was amazing. Northeastern Colorado drones. Uh, so there's been a lot of talk. I first heard about this when on the news. It's like, I was back on November or December. Um, I saw the news said, hey, there's been people reports that big drones out in Northeastern Colorado. I was like, wait. I gotta see this. I gotta go. I gotta. I gotta hear about this. So I turned on the news. I mean, I turned the volume up on the news, and I was like, "Oh man!" So this is like in you know way northeastern Colorado from Morgan, Weld counties, and Yuma counties. Okay, and I'm sure they're doing. I'm sure they're a lot everywhere else. But uh, I was like, "Okay, okay, okay." Uh, I have family in northeastern Colorado, so I have. I have to go check this out. And there's been many reportings. Many reportings. I, I spoke with the local. I know some locals out there, and they're like, "Yeah, it's true. Come check them out. You can check them out. You can follow them." I was like, "Wait, wait, wait. This is crazy. Why is there drones out there, like middle of nowhere, doing what are they doing? You know, it was really weird." First military drones was first reported on November twenty third. Okay, if you guys want to look up in this information, go to Google or go to Bing and type in. I went to Bing and go or go to Google. It doesn't even matter. I looked at both places. Uh, just type in Northeastern Colorado drones, military, or whatever you want. Just put uh, military drones, Northeastern Colorado, Northeastern Colorado drones, okay? Like I said, there's been a lot of reporting. A lot of people know about it from the, <laughs> from the FBI to from the Federal Aviation Administration, from law enforcement to the governors, from uh, senators. Everybody's been on top of this. It's been national news, uh, national headlines everywhere from magazines to tv okay from local tv from mainstream tv it's nuts senator gardner on december 23rd 2019 said he's closely monitoring the situation I haven't heard anything since governor jared polis also said he's in investigating as well law enforcement teamed up with the fbi fbi in the federal aviation administration and like i said no result. As well, the task force leader, Morgan County Sheriff Dave Martin, said on January 22nd, no plan for the work group to meet again. Like nothing. Nobody knows what's going on with these military drones out in Northeastern Colorado. The Colorado Department of Public Safety said either planets, stars, commercial aircrafts, or small hobbyist drones. You can see it, tons of reports if you guys go. Even on, they have videos that people were saying like these drones were at least like a hundred like a size of a car and they were at the top of their house like one the county sheriff was todd combs sheriff yuma county um says it's a federal state law as well as he's also said that there have been reports about these drones being 150 feet away from people's homes um if you look a uh, reason we're going real quick because like we get this podcast is like you know it's about it's about everything entertaining and you know i said there's gonna be a little time that we're gonna go deep and talk about some crazy stuff and i believe this is one of them and so that's why we're 
talking short and sweet, you know? I'm so excited about it. I just want to get this information out and then you guys go for it. I got stories too, so that's why I got to get going. And uh, just let you guys know. I don't want this to uh, just keep on ranting. I just want to give all the facts first and then I'm going to tell you guys my story. The Air Force, the Google, Amazon, Uber, Deny, Drones were theirs as well. So they put in their input. People also said that these go probably 60 miles an hour or faster. Uh, nobody has no answers. There's been speculations of what it could be. If you shoot it, if you try to shoot it, it's a federal and a state law if you shoot one of them down. But nobody knows what it is. Everybody's looking into it and these are military drones. And I'm about to tell you guys my couple stories here. A lot of people really think, well, we'll, we'll first to get to this place. There's this place on I-70, it's called Deer Trail. And they're going hard with this. They're, they don't they don't put up with this. They are, they're Old West values is what they call it. There's a guy there by the name of Phyllis, Phillips Steele, and ex-mayor, his name is Robert Coplay, um, and he was the ex-mayor there. Yo, they're going hard, uh, a drone hunting license because they're sick and tired of these drones flying over their houses. The guys said that they've been like a thousand feet from their homes. Dude, they got guns and they wanna shoot these things down. And they're ready, they're ready to shoot it down. They put this like license out so that it's crazy you can get this license and they're, they're having a town meeting um, about, they had a town meeting about it. I don't know what the end up on that was. If you guys want to shoot me a message, if there's any like leftover, uh, what the, what happened during that meeting. I didn't get that far into it, um, because I know this podcast is going to be short and sweet. I just want to give out the facts real quick and then you guys can go straight out and look, look for more information. This is Deer Cheryl, Colorado. This is just recently in January, probably the last week of January of 2020. Phillips still got tired of these drones and he looped to it. And he said the National Defense Authorization Act. And that's what got him fired up to straight go doing this drone hunting license. He says when he read that, $23 billion invested on unmanned vehicles. Um, there's been, it said as well that they're trying to plan six bases for drone testing. Well, what are we doing? Why are we drone testing out there? And then uh, why are you guys flying on top of houses that are a thousand feet up? Even the sheriff called you guys out and said you guys are 150 feet up too. Is it a thousand between 150 feet, guys? Think of a military drone the size of a car on top of your house. Like, what are you doing? Nobody got the answers. Nobody to this point ever got the answers. Reasons what it could be. It could be. This is what they think. Why there could be why there could be drones flying out there. This is what they think, or be, the conspiracy things that Disney could be making a mid-America Disney out there. So they're mapping out there, right? Could as well be because they're looking at pop fields, okay? I'm not gonna say any input. I'm just gonna say what you guys, I'm gonna throw this out there and you guys think what you think and then I'll give you my stories. Okay, as well, they could say, they think that maybe this is a stunt for drone manufacturers, okay? As well, uh, Russians or the Ukraines. But we got the like such amazing technology. We and we, we see these drones, they're flying low. Yo, the, the Federal Aviation FBI don't even know a drone that's 150 feet can come and be like, yo, <laughs> we don't even know what that that is, but we're you know, so the, so don't worry about it, you know? What don't we all looked into it? Even though your senator is looking at investigating, okay, he's gonna get back to you guys, so don't worry about it, okay? It makes no sense. Yo, Deer Chira is where it's at. Deer Chira knows what they're doing out there. Shout out to Philip and shout out to the ex mayor, Robert Coplay. This story was on CNN. So you go to CNN, Deer Trail, uh, Northeastern Colorado drones, straight up. That's where I got all this information. Shout out to CNN for doing that story. That's crazy. And the girl's like, so you don't want people really take this serious, right? And Philip was like, yeah, I want everybody to take this serious. Are you crazy? You think I'm wasting my time making this license? You just see that guy's face. It was so funny. CNN, the videos where it's there. Don't shut them down because you guys can get tons of trouble. It's actually a federal law too. Yo, yo, we don't know what that is, but we're gonna let it keep doing what it is and we're not gonna investigate it. So, but they're military, they're, they're drones and, oh, they're drones and they can fly over your house at the size of a car. So don't worry about it. And the, and the people, 
This is what they say. They say they're getting anxiety over safety and privacy. Yo, I'd be tripping out too. That is nuts. Size of car, top of your house, chilling. Like, what, what is going on out there? Northeastern Colorado, guys. These are the counties. Morgan, Yuma, Weld. I know there's probably more, but, you know, throw the messages out here when this video goes up. Okay, so we're going to get straight to the point to my stories. So I had two, I went out there, like I said, and I had two crazy, one interaction and the other one just a sightseeing. Two sightseeings, one interaction. It was nuts. Okay, I was driving um, back to uh, to Denver and I was out there in Northeastern Colorado and I, I'm not saying no towns or anything. So I get to this town and I was, I was looking up in the sky and I was like, whoa, this thing keeps kind of going away I'm reappearing in the sky, so I was like, no way. So I just, I just focused back on the road. And then I looked back up, and probably 10 minutes later, I saw it again. I was like, whoa! And I was like, shit, I gotta pull over. So I pull over, because I couldn't believe it, and so I filmed it. I got the film, so I'll put the film here soon. I'm not gonna put too much of, it, of the film, because you can go to my TikTok. It's on my TikTok, arielent.com. Go to my TikTok, you can see the full video there if you want. So I'll put a small clip here, though. Um, but... So I recorded it, okay? I know I recorded it probably like two minutes. and I, Just because it, it was hauling ass. This thing was hauling ass. And it was grayish slash whitish. And it just kept kind of, I want to say disappearing. I don't know, though. Okay, I never told this story till now, though. Okay, so I pull up two blocks. And I'm, I'm I, I, from where I was recording, I got back in my car and I'm, I was like, oh, da, da. I'm, I'm driving two bucks. I was like, oh, gas station. Let me pull in. So I pull in to get some gas, dude. And no lie, this car pulls up ahead next to me, an older woman and a gentleman in a white Dodge, not a GMC, because I know it's not, wasn't a GMC. This is right getting into this town too. And it wasn't a GMC, it was no Chevy, it was no Ford. It was a white, brand new Dodge pickup. And the back windows were hidden, the front windows weren't. This lady pulls up in the truck and she's like, rolls down her window, I don't mind my business, putting gas in the car. And the lady pulls down the window and she's like, did you, did you, get, did you get what you needed? And I said, what? And she's like, did you get the videos or pictures that you needed? And I said, and I knew two things from right there that moment, because this has happened to me before. I said two things. She wants me to be defensive or she wants me to be like, or tell her, oh, yeah, I was recording this. So, uh, yeah, what is going on? What is that? She wants you what that's what they wanted. But this is what I said. I said, uh... Yeah, uh, the map on my phone, I finally got service, so I know where I'm going now. Thank you so much. She gave me the ugliest face I've ever seen, like a disgusted face. She, they drove off very, very slowly. I could be sure when they pull up to the stop sign, because it's this gas station, and then you get out and there's a stop sign. I could have swore they were taking pictures. It was fucking weird. So it was that interaction. I took the back roads out of that town. I was like, I'm not getting back on the main highway. I'm going to take the back roads out of this town and get back on the highway straight up. Because right? that truck went back onto the main highway thinking I was going to. And I'm not, I wasn't going to play that. So I took the back roads and I headed out. Thank goodness. And I just drove fast as I could out of the <laughs> northeastern. It's a creepy feeling. Creepy feeling. I play another song, but I ain't got time. ArielEMT.com, babe. Okay, second story. So the second story is... I was in this one town in North Dakota, Colorado, probably like five miles, six miles from the Nebraska line. Okay. I was like, hey, let's go for a walk. So we go for a walk out. It was, I don't remember. It had to be between four and six in the evening, maybe four to 7 p.m., four to 7 p.m. And I'd say uh, January, during January 2020. Uh, I'd say like the last week. I'm not sure. Uh, I didn't write down the date, but I think it was the last week of January 2020. Went on for a walk, so it was dark outside already. And we go for a walk around the block. And I look up because I already know they're out there. 
I saw the most craziest shit. We look up and I saw the drums. And they weren't they weren't hobbyist drums at all. They were low. And they weren't pack they weren't packing more than one or two. I believe I could be there was more because I ran I was I wouldn't say scared for I was just like oh my gosh this is fucking nuts what is going on I could I'd never seen anything like this in my life and the person I was with I was like hey I'm running to this place I'm gonna get the all these people out of the house so they can see all this too because they need to see this and see what's really going on I'm not making this stuff up and so I ran full speed it was like a half block I was like so I don't know, so I'm losing track of how many people are, how many of them are passing by. But hold on. So I go in the house like, yo, guys, turn off the lights, come outside, turn off the porch light. You guys got to see this. It's crazy. They come out. It was probably uh, two, four, six, either seven or eight of us looking out there. And we all saw all these drones. And I even had a pilot, graduated in pilot license even saw these guys from the moment i ran to my house before before i even i looked up in shock probably for a couple minutes they were hauling ass and they were tons of them i would from from the moment i ran to my house from this from the moment i saw them when i came back out of the house from the moment i saw them i believe i saw 50. i probably saw 50 of these things just flying over this town crazy I couldn't believe it and then from the moment I was running into the house from the when I first saw them to go get these people out of the house I didn't even keep track how many how much were passing by me so I could have swear there was probably oh, more than 50 flying at once in this place going east towards Nebraska yo that's all I got that's all I got and then I tried to go out there a couple hours like another hour later because I figured there'd be more coming or two hours later, I looked, and then like, I think that's it, I gave up, and yo, there was no more. And they were in long distance. It wasn't just like, all oh, three of them were all together, just pat, no, uh-uh. It was like probably 10 at all together, all separate, just hauling ass. It was the most craziest shit ever. Yo, go tell your friends and family, spread the word. I don't know what they're doing. I ain't saying nothing. <laughs> people said maybe the lizard people are needing fresh ground. You know, they're under the Denver International Airport. Uh, but who knows? I don't know what to tell you. A lot of people might think it's the nuclear missile silos out there that they're protecting them or watching over them. I think maybe there could be something missing out there and they're looking. Maybe something <laughs> broke out of a laboratory and now it's out there and they're looking for it. Uh, they're out there during the day too. I don't know if they're still out there to this day, but we still got no word what they are. When nobody knows what's going on, I figured let's throw out this video with all the researchers that's all go that I could get from it. This is all I got right now. You guys, let me know. Shoot me the comments. You look. Let me look look into it. Northeastern Colorado drones. Nobody knows what's going on. My name is Ariel. I just want to say thank you guys so much for listening. Listening to my stories. People are gonna know what's real at the end of the day. Ariel is my name. ArielENT.com is the website. Merchandise, guys. Thank you so much for supporting me. I'm so grateful. You have no idea. I'm so happy doing this. This is what I love. Music is what I love. Photography is what I love. So look into it. ArielENT.com. All the podcasts go here. Guys, I'm so grateful. Thank you so much for listening. Have a wonderful night. Have a great week. We're going to be doing a couple more, uh, hopefully by the end of the week. But we never plan stuff. So we just do it at the moment. I try to plan as much as I can, but it's uh, sometimes it can be a little, a little, uh, a little hectic. But doing shows and photography. Thank you guys so much. The merch, listening, and that's the topic of the day. Take care. Here we go. Thank you guys so much. Hey, made that ass look at night. She told me watch the snakes 'cause they watching you. I told her, oh baby, don't stop.